Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're going through the steps on how to import a VM into a VMware vSphere environment. So you can do this by connecting directly to a ESXi host, or you can do it through a vCenter setup as well. Now, a couple of different options available to you. So the first one is what's called OVF templates, where you can simply download a OVF template off the, off, off the internet, for example, and import that into your vCenter sphere environment and the easy steps on how to do that would be to go into file new excuse me not file new file deploy ovf template and what this is going to do is you go and navigate to where you know your you have your ovf or your ova file open next and next and we just call it test vm next where we're going to copy it to, we'll just copy it onto here and leave it as is. All right. So what this is doing is this is actually a, a VM. So like essentially like a template VM that you can go and download off the internet. You can convert VMs into these templates where you can easily then import them in. Uh, and that will add it into my VM or environment. As you can see here, it's creating a test VM um, VM here. Uh, and then you can go and open that and actually get it to start running. Okay, that is the first step. Now that is a simple step, but it doesn't always let you say import things like VMDK files and things like that. Now, the way that you can do that is actually fairly, it's a bit more complicated, but it's, it's a bit of a trick on how to do it, but it's still pretty easy on how to do that. So we're gonna let that run. We're just gonna minimize that. Now let's say I've got a VM I've got a test VM. I know it's got some VMDK files. It's somewhere on a hard drive and I want to import that as a disk on a VM somewhere. Easy way to do that is to create a new virtual machine. All right, just create a dummy virtual machine. We'll call it uh, another test VM. I'm gonna copy it here. Uh, yep, we'll just leave that as default. You can go and change all this later on anyway. And finish. So that is now going to create a new VM. All right, we'll just let that finish. As you can see, it's the stump, some stuff happening down here in the uh, progress in the recent tasks. You got in progress, that's for the creating of the new VM, but also deploying that new OVF template that we're doing here. So we'll check back once that's, uh, that VM is completely finished getting built. So that is now finished, as you can see. The other one's still running. But now that VM has been created, brand new dummy VM, we're gonna go into edit settings. Now, as you can see, it's got a virtual hard disk. If I go and run that, it's obviously not gonna bring anything up because we haven't installed an operating system or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say remove and remove. That is now going to remove that disk from this particular VM. Okay, now remember, you don't remove it unless you actually know what you're doing. Don't remove it if, if you're not sure if there's any data on it or anything like that. So just go ahead and remove that, that VM, uh, that, that disk, excuse me, from that VM. And then once it's removed, what we're going to go do is we're now going to go and select. All right, so edit again, you'll see that there's no disk. We're now gonna go and select that VMDK file that we know exists somewhere else. Add hard disk, use an existing virtual disk. Now this has to be somewhere on your network and you have to have gotten it into a data store. So you wanna import that VMDK into a data store. We're not gonna go through how to do that, but you need to get that VMDK into a data store first. So I'm gonna to connect to this ReadyNAS data store that I've got here. And I know for the, for the purpose of this demonstration that I used to have a VM that I removed from VMware, but now I wanna re-add it. So I wanna re-add that, um, that file, that, that VMDK file. I'm just gonna sort it. And that's the one that I'm looking at, test. And that is my VMDK file. Now that is zero bytes, it's probably not the best example, 
be or VMDK file will be probably bigger. Okay, next, next, finish. That is now added, that VMDK file, into this another test VM, VM. You'll see the progress on the bottom. That is now going to add it. It's gonna change all the configuration of that VM. It's gonna update all the, uh, all the comp files that are in the background, the VMX files, all those sort of things. And that is it. That is how to import a VM, uh, VMDK file into uh, your VMware environment. Now, similarly, we're not gonna go through and finish this off because uh, it will take a bit of time. But essentially, this is via the OVF. Uh, once this finishes, you'll then be able to go and execute your test VM, run it, start it up, and then you'll be able to have that VM up and running with whatever that OVF, OVA file was that you've acquired. Uh, so that is the steps on how to do both the OVA, OVF, as well as importing it via a VMDK file as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing.